Hi everyone. Today we'll be looking at the Proactivity 2000 PLC Data Handling Instructions Part 2. Now data handling instructions are used to perform movement and manipulations of the memory in the Paramo Logic Controller. The Proactivity 2000 series PLC has 15 different data handling instructions that can be used in various applications. In the second part we'll be looking at the following instructions. Lookup table, LKUP, Find a value within an XY table by looking at the intercept of a reference X axis value and a Y axis value. Pack bits, PKB, converts up to 32 Boolean tag bits to a constant bits into an output integer tag. Pack word, PKW, convert up to four 8 bit tags or two 16 bit tags or four constants into a 16 or 32 bit destination tag. Shift Rotate Bits, SFR, Shift or Rotate Bits of a Tag or Constant Value. Sign Magnitude, SMAG, Convert Sign plus Magnitude Data Type Values to Two's Complement or Convert Two's Complement Data Type Value into a Sign plus Magnitude. Unpack Bits, UPKB, Convert up the 32-bit integer tag or constant into Boolean tags. Unpack Word, UPKW, convert one 32-bit or 16-bit source tag into four 8-bit tags or two 16-bit tags. A review of data handling instructions part one can be found with the link below. Let's get started with Productivity 2000 series PLC data handling instructions part two. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, There'll be links in the description below that will start you with video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Lookup table, LKUP. This instruction will find a value within an XY table. It will look at the intercept of a reference X axis value and Y axis value. We will use the structure name lookup table. This will set up our inputs X key, Y key, and our output, output. When the number of X references will be 5 and the number of Y references will be 10. This will give us a grid shown. We now enter the data in the table. We can now define the tags for lookup table. Make X key and Y key retentive an initial value of 60 each. When switch 1 is on on the data handling lookup instruction, this will take the X key and the Y key inputs and send the corresponding value based on the table specified to the output. Pack bits, PKB. This instruction will convert up to 32 Boolean tag bits or constant bits into an output integer tag. We will specify tag pack bits out using the eight switches on our input card. We will send the value to the pack bits output tag. When switch two is on, the first eight switches will be converted into the pack bits output flag on our data handling instruction. Pack word, PKW. This instruction will convert up the four eight bit tags or two 16 bit tags or four constants into a 16 or 32 bit destination tag. We will use the structure name pack word and specify byte eight bit to a word 16 bit. We will set position 1 and 2 as retentive with an initial value of 12 and 34 respectively. When switch 3 turns on, the first 8 bits of position 1 will be the least significant byte. The first 8 bits of position 2 will be the most significant byte of the output. Shift Rotate Bits SFR this instruction will shift or rotate bits of a tag or constant value. We will call the structure shift rotate. Select rotate left include sign bit and one shot. Set the input and number of shift rotate to retentive with the initial value of one each.
When switch 4 transitions from off to on, the output will shift by one left. When the last bit of the output is shifted, it will rotate back to the first bit. This is a powerful data instruction on our Productivity Suite unit. We have covered shift registers in previous posts. Here are a couple that will show you what can be done with rotating and shift instructions. PLC programming example, sorting station. PLC programming example, shift register, conveyor reject. Sign magnitude, SMAG. This instruction will convert sign plus magnitude data type values to two's complement or convert two's complement to data types values to sign plus magnitude. There's a link in the description below that is a good tutorial on sign binary numbering systems. We will use the structure name sign mag out and select sign magnitude to two's complement. Make the input memory retentive with initial value of minus 200. When switch 5 is turned on, the output will contain the sign magnitude to 2's complement of the input number. Unpack bits, UPKB. This instruction will convert up to 32-bit integer tags or constants into Boolean tags. We will use the pack bits out as the input to this instruction. This represents the eight switches that we pack into the output. This instruction will do just the opposite. Our output will be the unpacked bits one to eight. When switch 6 is turned on, the input number will get broken into bits. In our case, this represents the switches when we pack the input. Unpack Word. This instruction will convert one 32-bit or 16-bit source tag into four 8-bit tags or two 16-bit tags. We will name the structure Unpack Word. Select Word, 16-bit, to Byte. 8-bit. Our input source will be broken out into two 8-bit bytes of data. Make the source memory retentive and set the initial value of it to 1234. When switch 7 is turned on, it will unpack the source into two bytes. This happens every scan as long as switch 7 is on. The wrong is true. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.